What is it, you guys? Welcome back to the Sky is the Limit Sports Channel. Siddle Nation, what is good with you guys? I know, four weeks I've been gone. <laughs> I know. I've been trying to figure out what kind of sports video I could do because I, I was trying to take a little bit of a break off just doing straight reactions. I was trying to think of some more cons concept videos I can make and stuff like that. And then ESPN dropped this. <laughs> ESPN dropped their top 10 NBA players of all time. Now, I believe I made my own list probably two or three years ago. I, I honestly do not remember who I had on that list. I have to go back and look on that list. But if you guys want to go watch that video, I will leave a link to that video in the description. It's a two-part video. It's a two-part video that I did. And I think it's either the top 10 or the top 20. I think I made it the top 20 greatest basketball players of all time. I think it did the top 20, not top, just top 10. But we are gonna go through this list. I'm gonna give you guys my opinions because this list is it's got some controversy around it. And a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people that was really, really mad about one specific player being where they're at. So at number 10, they have Shaquille O'Neal. I agree with this. I agree that Shaq is probably the 10th greatest player of all time. Shaq has to, has to make your top 10. I think if you're gonna make a list, because these things can vary, vary on your preference, but I think Shaq has to be in your top 10. Shaq has to make your top 10. He has to make it. If you don't have Shaq in your top 10, something's wrong with your list, all right? At number nine, they have Kobe Bryant. This is the one that people, I saw in people in Instagram comments and Twitter that were, people were most heated about. People thought Kobe should be number two, Kobe should be in the top five, Kobe should be here. Now I know Kobe is a very, very sensitive topic right now. He's, he's a very sensitive topic. And some people may put him a little bit higher just to get try to give him his flowers and try to put him in the top five. I don't think he's top five, but I think he possibly should be, he should be a little bit higher than nine. I do think he should be higher than nine. Kobe Bryant is the second greatest shooting guard of all time. Um, five rings, only one MVP should have uh, two, two or three of those things. I don't know how he only got one MVP. But the thing that knocks Kobe down, and I think people don't really take this in consideration, is the fact that him and Shaq didn't play longer together. I think that those years where Kobe was really in his prime, prime years, like when he was in his 20s, uh, like mid 20s, when he didn't have Shaq and he was just on his own and he was just going to the playoffs and not really going very far in the end of postseason and stuff like that, those years hurt Kobe and his legacy. Those years hurt him and his legacy. I mean, if you're gonna talk about it, let's talk about it. Those years until he got Pau Gasol on his team, those years hurt Kobe and his legacy. All those years, even though he was averaging 30 plus points per game, he was doing all that. The man was not winning anything. So that hurt his legacy over for his overall achievements. Plus also the fact that, I mean, he did was almost a carbon copy of Michael Jordan. We have to take that into account as well. We have to take those things into account. I know it's hard to take in and stuff like that because, I mean, like I said, it's very sensitive to talk about Kobe, but we got we to gotta talk about Kobe. We got to judge him just like every other player. So I think he should be a little bit higher on this list. Though. I'm going to say where I'm, I might put him at based on the next players that are on this list. For number eight, they had Tim Duncan. I think Kobe Bryant is better than Tim Duncan. I think Kobe Bryant should be higher than Tim Duncan for sure. Tim Duncan, greatest power forward of all time, obviously. Uh, not too big of a fan of him because, you know, I'm a Dallas Mavericks fan. <laughs> so, but I respect Tim Duncan. I respect Tim Duncan. There's only two Spurs players I've ever respected. That's Tim Duncan. That's Kawhi Leonard. Other than that, I don't care about none of them. <laughs> I don't care about Manu. I really don't like Manu Ginobili. I really do not like him. Don't care for Tony Parker. Don't care for none of them. But I respect Tim Duncan and I respect Kawhi Leonard. I respect them. But I think Kobe Bryant was better than Tim Duncan. I, th I think he's better than Tim Duncan. Um, I mean, Tim Duncan has a very boring game. So it's like that yeah, he wasn't very exciting to play. The Spurs played the fundamental ways. He's called the big fundamental for, for no reason. He's not called the big fundamental for no reason. Um, I, I just think Kobe Bryant is better than him. At number seven, they had Larry Bird. 
Huh. Is Kobe Bryant better than Larry Bird? This is a this is the tough one right here. This is tough. Larry Bird, I mean my, my dad's a huge Larry Bird fan, obviously. So like I hear about him. I hear about him all the freaking time. All the freaking time. He's obviously the greatest white player to ever play the game, obviously. That's 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 obvious. But like that's that's a tough one. I'd have to come back to you on that one. I don't know. I would definitely put him at, I've so far, I would definitely put Kobe at eight. It's hard for me to decide if Kobe is better than Larry Bird. Larry Bird, obviously, uh, three championships. Um, I mean, the, the, one of the greatest shooters of all time, even though shooting wasn't that big of a deal, it wasn't as big of a deal as it is now. People shoot the, the three all the time, and it's shooting further and further back to the point to where they might have to push the three-point line back. That's how good these players are at shooting the basketball these days. So, like, I don't know. I don't, I, it, it's, that's, that's hard. That's a hard one to judge. I'd have to really break down everything as far as, like, the statistics, the everything. I mean, compare, I mean, Kobe has more championships. Larry Bird has more MVPs. It's like, what do you value more? Do you value the championships or do you value the individual awards more? Which one do you guys value? Which one do you guys value more? Uh, I think I value championships more, so I I might put Kobe at seven. I might do it, but that's probably as far as I can put him. Put him, and I'll probably put Larry Bird at number eight. Will Chamberlain at number six? I know some people are like Will Chamberlain should not be on here, but Will Chamberlain literally in his era. You have to look at his era. He dominated his era. Now he didn't win championships, but as dominant as he was in his era. Like, I, you can't not put him in the top 10. Like, you can't not do it. Like, you can't not do it. Like, I think he has to make your top 10 list. He has to make it. Um, so, six is about probably where if I was going to make this list, I probably would put him right there. I mean, he only won, uh, I think, one or two championships. And he didn't win it till later on in his career. And it's, it's, it's tough because I know people don't know. No, I mean, I don't even know Wilt Chamberlain. I didn't even see Wilt Chamberlain play. But, like, when you look at the statistics of Wilt Chamberlain and what he's done. The man averaged 50 points per game one year. He led the league in assists one year. I mean, like, I mean, like, he has all kind of records. This man scored 100 points in a game. Like, I don't think any NBA player is ever going to get to that. I think that's one of those records that's going to stay for a long, long, long time. It's going to stay for a long, long time. So, hey, I mean, I, I, I think six is appropriate for Wilt Chamberlain. Number five is Magic Johnson. I agree. I think Magic. Well, I actually I might put Magic a little. Uh, now I just look at number four. I think. Hmm. Hmm. Because the next person at number four is Bill Russell. Who's better, Magic Johnson or Bill Russell? Bill Russell, obviously, most champ, most uh, rings of all time. He dominated in his era. He dominated Wilt Chamberlain, obviously. Wilt Chamberlain was his, was his foe, and he could just never beat it, Bill Russell. It's all about dominating your era, which he did. But Bill Russell wasn't the scorer like that. He was more of a defensive player. He's obviously one of the greatest defensive players of for defensive players of all time. Maybe the greatest ever. Uh, people might say Dennis Rodman, but he might be. He might be. He's probably between those two. That's a tough one. Magic Johnson, Showtime, the assist, the all-time leader in assists, the average, uh, with the average, um, about the Showtime, play with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell. I mean, he had Kuzi and these boys, and, uh, and them playing with, alongside with him. Oh, man. I think on my list that I did two, three years ago, I think I had like Magic number two or number three, if I can remember correctly. So I still I might give Magic Johnson the edge and put him at number four, and I might put Bill Russell at number five. That might be blasphemy, but that's how I'm feeling right now. I might I might switch those two around as well and put Bill Russell at at that spot. Now we got another one to talk about: Kareem at number three and LeBron at number two. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I might give Kareem the edge over LeBron right now. If LeBron were to win the championship 
this year while leading the league in assists. I mean, there's an asterisk around this championship just because there's been a layoff. And I feel like this layoff, as I, I think I said, I said on my hashtag, why is this news podcast that I honestly think this layoff is going to help the Lakers more than even helps the than, than any other team because the Clippers are a team that you have to gain chemistry back. You have to gain that chemistry back. And the Clippers have not had much playing time at all with each other. They played only 10 games together with each other. And they haven't really built any chemistry together. Lakers at least have been playing the entire NBA season together. So it might not take as long for them to get their chemistry back flowing. It's going to take the Clippers a long time to get their chemistry together because they have not played together a lot. And so LeBron, could that could work to LeBron and the Lakers' advantage to the point to where they could win the championship this year because I believe it's looking more and more likely that the NBA is going to come back this year. We are going to have an NBA season. So I think LeBron, if he were to win the championship this year, it's interesting. It's, it's tough. It's like, does he, if he wins the championship this year, do I put him over Kareem? I still don't know if I do that. Just because of the way this, I mean, it's unfortunate. I mean, LeBron can't control it, but I mean, it is what it is. And so with that being in mind, it's just like, I don't know if I can still put LeBron over Kareem. If LeBron were to win a championship next year, then yeah, all right, I'll put him I'll put him over Kareem. I, 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 will, I will gladly do that. I will gladly put him over Kareem. I would say he is for sure locked in the second greatest player of all time. He's locked in. He's locked that spot down. But right now, I'm still going to give the edge to Kareem right now. I'm still going to give the edge to Kareem. And then, obviously, number one, I don't think it's up for the debate. Um, Michael Jordan should be number one. Um, I know in Nyon Sports, I've had debates. I had a whole 40-minute debate with him, I think, like a year or so ago. If you guys have been on my channel for a long time, you guys know I had that debate with him. And we debated about who's better, LeBron or Michael Jordan. He still thinks to this day that LeBron is the, is the greatest player of all time. I, I think it's, it's a lot of recency bias, and it's what he has seen with his own two eyes compared to looking going back back and looking at the at the games the Michael Jordan play. You got to go back and look at your hardwood classics, my guy. You got to go back and look at those hardwood classics. And the crazy part is this man's from Chicago. <laughs> and he says that. <laughs> like I said, if, if, my, if he becomes a, a, any bigger than what my boy on sports is now and people go back and clip and look at those those videos of him saying that, bro, he's not going to make it out of Chicago. He's going to have to move. <laughs> he's going to have to move. <laughs> he really is going to have to move. Because. <laughs> I just don't see it. I mean, six for six. I mean, the MVPs. I mean, the, he took off two years. Imagine if he didn't take off those two years. Hakeem may not even have a championship. Uh -huh. I mean, like, I don't. I, I, I just, I just don't, don't. Uh, I, I don't, I don't see. I don't see any way LeBron can really catch MJ. Now he's probably gonna beat him. All the scoring records, all that shit. He's probably going to get all the records. That's because the NBA, the numbers is a little bit more inflated these days because of the three-point shot. A lot more people th shoot threes and stuff like that. So the numbers are going to be a little bit higher now than they were back then because people didn't really shoot threes like that. The three-point shot has, has revolutionized the game of basketball. And it's mainly because of these damn Warriors and Stephen Curry and stuff like that. That's the reason why the NBA is the way it is now. But... Yeah, that's my thoughts on this list. Um, you guys can let me know what you guys think about the uh, ESPN Top 10. I believe they did 74 in total, but I was going to talk about the Top 10 because I didn't want to be here all day breaking this down. It'll be a two-hour video if I try to break down everyone else's spots. But uh, yeah, you guys can let me know what you guys think down below in those comments. And yeah. Anyway, guys, like this video. I really appreciate that. Subscribe to Jordan Siddle Nation if you are... No!